Six right now, the CDC recently adding to the list of symptoms linked to the coronavirus, among them the instant and complete loss of taste and smell. Well, the impact on the senses is more intense than with other viruses, but why? Here's our why guy. When you're feeling lousy, many of us will turn to a warm bowl of chicken noodle soup. Everyone has their go to comfort food when they're feeling sick. The coronavirus has learned to kick us when we're down. I remember in early March complaining the chips that I was eating at the time that the flavoring was left off. After hearing from doctors around the country, the CDC added loss of taste and smell to the list of symptoms for COVID-19. I remember missing the smell of my dog. Let's look into why it's happening. The flu and even the common cold can cause you to lose some sense of taste and smell. That's really because we're having trouble getting air into our nose. For COVID-19, it seems to be occurring in people who also don't have sort of nasal congestion. Dr. Maria Sundrum of Emory University's Department of Public Health explains that researchers are still looking into COVID-19's impact on our senses. She tells us there are smell receptors in the back of our nostrils. Cells and neurons there send messages to the brain. It's possible that COVID-19 as a respiratory virus is looking for different epithelial cells to infect and sees these um, epithelial cells that are right next to the neurons and thinks, oh, you know, this is a great environment for me. Our sense of taste is tied to our ability to smell. There is some kind of interaction between the air that goes into your nose and the air that goes into your mouth is that they also interact in our brain. A sudden and complete loss of taste and smell may signal a need to be tested for the coronavirus. The good news, according to Dr. Sunderham, is if COVID-19 is to blame, your senses will return shortly after you recover.